Hello guys, welcome once again to Waxplay TV, a place to get lots of information on various investment platforms, income programs, and ways to go about making cool cash online. In this YouTube channel, we talk about cryptocurrency, mobile applications that pay you, and lots more. We talk about platforms that are legit so that you won't um so that you invest wisely in them, and we talk about platforms that are scam so that you won't be frauded by um scammers online. Okay, if you've not subscribed to the channel, do that now by hitting subscribe button. In today's video, I'll be answering the question, is ETC's FB crashing very soon? We've been doing lots of reviews on ETC's FB and I decided to make this video also. As a matter of disclaimer, Waxfly TV is not trying to tarnish the online reputation of ETC's FB. All we are trying to do is to make videos so that people watch it and get enlightened on what is happening in the online world. Okay, we are currently on their website as you can see. Recently, we discovered that there is a notification that is being made or an announcement that is being made in the platform. This announcement um, streamed on the 14th of April 2022. So you can see all valid members will receive feedback from members that there is an abnormal withdrawal of funds from personal accounts and there is a risk of, there is a risk of hackers. In order to ensure the safety of all members from our company, we we'll verify the withdrawal by SMS. Okay, now there is a new development in which when you want to um, withdraw on the platform, it will be verified using SMS. Maybe they'll send you an OTP code, um, one-time password, um, they'll send you that code and you put the password to get paid. Um, I have seen lots of online platforms. When they want to crash, they come up with lots and lots of announcements and updates. I'm not trying to say this platform's um, update is wrong. No, maybe they might be wanting to stop scammers from scamming people there about, but I've seen platforms that use stuff like this to go offline. All of a sudden, they'll say them themselves, they have been scammed. Like the team of it, I'm using it is FB as an instance now. They'll say it is FB, they have been scammed by um, lots of scammers or their platform has been hijacked, has been hacked. So this, um, sometimes some of these whole, updates are excuses to stop paying people or excuses for them to crash so that's what i feel concerning platforms that keep giving updates or that that keeps giving um, um that keep giving all this new information sometimes they are not scammers but most times some of them are wanting to close up okay that's not the only thing i discovered in this platform like i said i'm currently in the website and i'm coming back to where we are before we enter there okay let's come to my like let me check my account if you want to try um recharging on this platform you will um discover that the if you want to deposit fund on this platform you discover that the naira deposition like bank deposition is not only available for small cash until you want to deposit something like 200 000 naira that's when they can permit you let's come with bank card okay for instance now if i choose 5000 naira i choose 5000 naira i click on confirm you see something like please select the recharge okay let me say um selecting that op and I choose 5,000 Naira. They say amount is too small. Okay, let me increase it to 10,000 Naira. I'm still saying amount is too small. I'm increasing it to 20,000 Naira. Amount is too small. Let me shift to 100,000 Naira. Amount is too small. It is until I choose 200,000 Naira. That's when they will permit me. And definitely don't expect someone that is joining the platform for the first time to put 200,000 Naira. They want. They might want to use this pattern so that lots of persons will not be using bank transfer again. The reason for this is that if you transfer money to someone, it's easy to trace the person. That's the truth. Um, if you, if you transfer money to me, you can trace my um, tr you can trace me through my account. Um, the account number I sent to you. You can go to the bank and report me, and my account can get frozen, or you can report to EFCC. They get my detail for my BVN, and um, I become kind of wanted by the EFCC. That's how it works. It is easy to track someone using their bank account or their bank details. But now they have made it that if you want to deposit on this platform, it is until you have. 200,000 naira, which is kind of impossible for someone to deposit on the phone. Okay, but let's try using crypto. Um, let's try using USDT. Uh, you know, cryptocurrency, if you are sending money through the cryptocurrency, the person cannot be tracked. The person will just send you a contract address of which you cannot even use it to track the person. Now, let's use cryptocurrency to, um, to okay, now let's use 10. You can see the rates, the rate of it, which is it's 5,557. This is 5,557. Let me say I want to deposit 5,500 and uh, sorry, 5,517 naira. 
Meanwhile, I tried using the bank transfer of 100,000 naira, it still couldn't work. But now I'm trying to deposit 5,570 naira. Let me click on confirm recharge. You can see confirming recharge, they are not showing me that amount is too small. You can see they are, um, they are redirecting me to a page in which I can make payment. What is all this? Like, why is all this happening? You can see the redirection. You can see they, are, they have taken me to a page where I can make the payments to this cryptocurrency. 10 USDT. Meanwhile, I tried and trying to, I tried, um, I tried, um, transferring 100,000 naira, like trying to deposit 100,000 naira through bank, tra bank transfer. They refused me now to deposit as little as 10 years, which is 5,570 naira. They are enabling me to make the deposit, um, the deposit. The reason for this, like I earlier explained, it's making it possible um, that you cannot track them or it's making it impossible for you to track them in case this platform folds up. I've given you two reasons why I feel this platform might be crashing very soon. I don't know how soon, but I just, we are kind of observing some trends and we are seeing some things that this platform is bringing up. The people that started this platform, like those that joined the platform on time, we are using bank transfer to make little transfers like maybe 20,000 or 10,000 or 5,000 naira. but now they have stopped that method which means people can no longer be able, um people can no longer track the platform using their bank details it's not possible now the only way you can you can even track the platform using cryptocurrency so i advise those that are members of the platform please please try to withdraw your capital and maybe start trading with your profit those that are yet to join I would advise to make some findings if you still want to risk it yes online business most of them are risky if you want to risk it make sure to use the money that you can afford to lose we are trying to play smart online despite it being risky all of us are trying to play smart online you can drop your comments in the comment section and also like this video share this video so your friends will know about this video and our verdict concerning this um, platform at the moment I will still repeat the disclaimer we are not trying to tarnish the online reputation we are not trying to say nobody should join the platform all we are trying to do is to raise an alarm and also give people sensitization on platforms like this okay stay tuned for our next review as you subscribe to this youtube channel